you are ultra instinct. You're just not looking in the right direction. We can perceive the experience, but not the experiencer. Peace to you and you and you and all my fellow expressions of consciousness. There is a very famous fighter in the anime kingdom known as Son Goku, who recently attained the level of the gods or even higher by awakening an state ability within him called Ultra Instinct, which essentially meant he no longer identified as the body. He let the body do its thing, move by itself, which heightened the body's reactions, power, etc. Only when thought came back did Goku's power reduce. When Goku completely let go of mind, he then mastered this ultra instinct and was revealed as God level. I'm here to say that this is just like spiritual awakening. No, not just la di da spiritual awakening, talking about third eyes and things like that. I'm talking about the awakening from mind itself. The awakening into the vastness of knowing you have never been the body in the first place. The body is always moving by itself. By itself meaning the thoughts are not moving the body. It seems like it. For example, you just saw this hand do this. Do you think thought told every single finger to move in a certain way? No, it's just a happening. It could have done this. It could have done this. You see, in for your true spiritual awakening, you must detach from mind. Only when you detach from mind, do you realize, hang on a minute, I have never been mind because I still exist. Oh, wow. I'm not mind. I'm that which observes all life. All life arises out of that which I am. I am not the objects. I am not the perceptions. I am not the sensations. I am simply I. I am simply that. I am simply the all. This is all me. Yet I am not the manifestation essentially though it does arise within that which I am. Just as characters on a TV screen are not the TV, but they arise in with that which the TV is. You realise you are, you have always been God. This will sound crazy if this is the first time you're hearing this kind of talking. But I say through experience, when I saw the Goku transformation, I instantly was reminded of my awakening. It's the same. Mind leaves, then you are left standing revealed as God. No, not God, an entity that can shoot fireballs. That is imagination. God is not that. I've explained on many videos before. God is simply that allowing presence Something has to allow experiencing to happen, does it not? Something has to allow it. Just as something has to allow objects to move around, that something is space. If there was no space between objects, everything could be like this, of course. Space creates the feeling of distance. If there was no space, we'd all be in, everything would be in a box, tight together. You need space. 
to allow things to flow so it's just an analogy so similarly God is that pure consciousness that allows thoughts to arise and go experiences of objects to arise and go it does not interfere it is just that allowing no thingness just as you cannot say the next thought you're going to have right now which should be enough to show you that you are not mind that you cannot stop thought so how can you be mind If you was mind, you could stop mind. Or if you owned mind, we could say, you could stop <laughs> mind, but you cannot. Because you are not the doer. You are just that which allows everything to flow. You are so much more than the experience. You are the experiencer. You are the grand master. <laughs> of life as you are I am because this form is not the body not thought nobody could say they can know the next thought they're going to have before they have it but everybody could say I am I exist thus everybody can be can remember or rather can experience that they have never been mind we are all the same being that believes it is separate when we perceive through mind so yes Goku and his transformation is a key to helping you understand what you must do to awaken from mind to liberate yourself from ego that we should call ego and they allow life to flow. When you allow life to flow, there are no confusions because it's flowing and your life will become better just as Goku's did and is. Goku stopped attaching to mind. You must stop attaching to mind if you want to awaken from ego, from the limits you put on yourself. Goku thought he had a limit. He broke it. He breaks his limits many times. And you, my fellow expression of consciousness, you believe you are the mind, thus you believe you have a limit that shares its limits with mind. Mind has limits, yes. Mind cannot think of what he cannot think of. Mind has limits, but you are not the mind. You are that which stays when mind comes and goes, comes and goes. How do you know thought comes and goes? How do you know thought comes and goes? You must be aware of the thought coming and going. Whatever it is you are, you are there, present, it cannot be a thought that is watching thought come and go because thought is just known. Thought doesn't do anything. It's just known. Really understand that too, please. It's an object to know. <laughs> you are always here, unaffected by life. Experience, because life is experienced, is it not? So life is experiences. Experiences come and go. I was a baby, a kid. Adult, death, all of this is experienced. Yes, including death. You can only experience, experience or no thing like you do in deep sleep. Goku is, has become a spiritual teacher. <laughs> or rather I'm showing you that Goku has really, when you understand what to look for, because I would not have 
come to this understanding if I had not had my awakening, as I've mentioned before. I would not have seen that it is actually possible for all of us to do this. That actually is pointed to the fact that when we attach to mind, we then believe we share mind's limits. When we don't attach to mind, we have limitless possibilities like when we dream. Because when we dream, we're not as attached to the body. So we're more fluid, swimming in consciousness's dream. This is also consciousness's dream. But it's a deeper level. Thus, it seems harder to awaken from, but you can. I'm showing you that I assume you're a Dragon Ball super fan or you enjoy my videos I'm showing you that this character in the way that he awoke from his limits is the same way everyone awakes from their belief they are the mind and then becomes more expansive they grow you realize you are so much more than the limits of mind This is not to say mind is a bad thing, no. Mind just is what it is. But if you wish to, if you feel yourself to be suffering from mind, from ego, from memories, from thoughts, I'm here to say that you are not those memories, you're not thought. The same way you cannot say the next thought you're going to have shows you that you are not mind. It's not yours. There's not a person who owns mind. They are just images that can be acted upon or not. Although the actions is still just done by what we call consciousness. But you are always the imperturbable perceiver of any action. You are God consciousness but you don't realise that because you believe you are mind. Even though mind shows you over and over again that it does not belong to a person because it comes and goes, because you cannot stop it. You still believe you are mind because world culture seems to tell you this. Only a few seem to awaken from the truth, but you can awaken too. Keep looking at the, the fact that you are first and primarily aware you are an awareness. You are aware of your hands, your body. So you cannot be it. You are aware of the world. So you cannot be it, essentially. So what you are is just that awareness that is experiencing. That is it. Eventually, mind will give up <laughs> and leave for just long enough for you to have a peek or a long look at the truth of reality. Mind will come back because mind is how the perceived world works. Although mind is not really an entity, it is also just consciousness. We just call it mind. There is only consciousness. There is only ultra instinct. You are ultra instinct. You're just not looking in the right direction. Meaning, there is no direction, but stop identifying with mind as Goku did. Look what happened to him. <laughs> Yeah. <sighs>
yeah not too much else to say about it just your spiritual awakening is very similar to how Goku awakened you will realize this when you have your awakening which you will have if it is the story your form is going through one way or another you will awaken because you are always that pure limitless being you awaken to the point that you realize there was nobody to awaken in the first place <laughs> peace if you like the video please like the video have a wonderful day or evening thank you